Magic is an illusion. It's an, a magical art of everything. Today, I'm going to teach you how to levitate a playing card or a dollar bill. Okay, now this is how to levitate something. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using a playing card and Colin. I'm going to be teaching Colin how to levitate. Alrighty. Get your playing cards and Colin, you are going to help me levitate. Or I'm going to teach you. Alright. Pick a card. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, we'll take these two cards. Take these two. Pick one and then the other one to me. Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going to levit make uh, the Eight of Clubs levitate like this. Alright, Colin, are you ready to learn? Yeah. Alright, well, let's get started. Okay, now this is more of science than a trick, but it's a trick. Alright, what you want to do is what you need is um, like a cloth. Like a soft cloth, or you can use your shirt. What you want to do is um, take both hands, or just your shirt, and kind of. This is the best way that works for me. And you want to make circles like this on your shirt, and this will build up static electricity, like when you shock someone. So once you build up, once you think, maybe you do this for like a few seconds, and then you have the static electricity. Now, careful! Don't touch anything except the card. Now, what you want to do next, after you build a stack of electricity, don't touch anything except your card, okay? Then, you want to put it, kind of, you want to hold it, like this, okay? You have it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Show them how to hold it. Like this. Good. Okay. So, you hold it, like this, and then, you're going to slowly pick up your fingers, It'll take practice, okay? And trying the different trying different ways like horizontal or diagonal or whatever. Diagonal. Or uh, horizontal or vertical. Figure out what works best for you. And you just have to try to figure it out. See if you can get it. Did you get it? You are close. Yeah. And this is a harder trick to do. It took me a few years to be able to actually do it well. Um, it just takes a lot of practice. Alright, and, but, if you cannot do this and you just really can't do it, or you're a lot younger, well, here's an easier way if you really can't do it, do it, and, or maybe you're younger and have smaller hands, because the bigger hands, the better. Okay. Now, presenting to you the magical floating card. Okay. If you want to learn that, stay tuned. Here is what I call the magical magician's view. This is how you perform the easier version of the trick. Does it look like it's levitating, Colin? Did it look like it was levitating, Colin? Yes. Good. All right, I hope you can now levitate playing cards or dollar bills. See you next time. Peace. <laughs> Bye.